Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Kramer's fee uh, using Excel for a Pearson chi-square goodness of fit. Kramer's fee is often used as a effect size measure. Uh, the first thing you need would be the number of categories and uh, I'll be using the data as shown in, this in column A. If you don't know uh, how many there are, simply copy your data, paste it into a a blank column, paste values, and then under data, go for remove uh, duplicates. Uh, my data does have a header. Click on OK, and five unique items remaining. So, and that's actually these five. So there are five categories. Then uh, you need the Pearson chi-square value. Um, I've actually have this already done, and how this can be done is shown in another video. So I'm not going to go over this uh, right here. Uh, the sample size is simply the number in total. So in uh, this example, that would be count A and then the entire column A. But because I have a column header, I need to subtract one, so minus a one. So I have 1,941 um, uh, not samples, uh, cases, or people in this case. Determine the degrees of freedom, which is actually simply uh, this formula where k is the number of categories. So in this case, that's simply the number of categories minus a 1. And then Kramer's fee in itself, there's no function for it uh, built in in Excel. So um, of course, there might be a user defined function somewhere out there. It's this scary looking formula, but it's actually not that complicated. So it's the square root. And then you take that chi-square value, uh, don't square it again, it's already squared. And then divide by, open the parentheses, and then the total sample size. And then multiply that by the degrees of freedom. Close the parentheses once and twice, and then enter, and you have your Kramer's V value. And that's all there is to it.